Hello folks, Dave Schulke here with the Twin Home Experts. Today I want to go ahead and give you some helpful tips and tricks when it comes to your sewer clean out for your home really really important investment so before we do our backfill I wanted to go ahead and give you that visual all right folks so after we've ran our camera and located where the sewer pipe comes out of the house we're ready for our excavation and in preparation of our excavation we're very mindful as to how we take your plants out so if you come over here what we do is we grab thick bags and we take the soil and the plants here as you can see the flowers we put them in here, go ahead and water them during the process of our, of our work here. But what this does is it keeps the plants in good shape. So when we're ready to backfill, we can simply put them back the way they were. The other preparation that we uh, like to practice here at the Twin Home Experts is we always take some six mil plastic and lay on top of your grass area. And what that does is it separates the soil from uh, damaging the uh, grass or your concrete work. Let's go ahead and take you inside the hole now. All right folks, so it's inevitable a lot of the times you're gonna see a lot of sprinkler pipes and most of the time we're having to cut those out to gain access to the sewer pipe. So what we like to do is when we put those uh, sprinkler pipes back together we go ahead and use a telescope coupling. It's a very strong durable coupling and put all your piping back together. All right. Uh, the second thing is, is that we like to use protective mats for your uh, ornate or decorative type of stone or porch. Right, so the most important part of installing a clean out is what I'm about to show you right now. The connection typically used to make the connection of the old pipe to the new pipe is a rubber coupling like this. And there's a lot of advantages to this type of coupling and there's some disadvantages and the disadvantage is if if you do not tighten this up properly and it's not installed what's going to happen is you could get a shift in the pipe or a lot of times what we're seeing is years after especially if the root system in your yard is very aggressive roots will grow inside here causing root infestation back into your brand new sewer so we're going to go ahead and show you some tips some best practices that is a must when you install a clean out now a couple things you're going to need is a 60 or a 70 pound torque wrench you're able to see that labeled either at the top of the torque wrench or here this uh, is typically used here this is just used by hand definitely need a torque wrench in order to maximize that nice tight connection again helping to alleviate the root infestation okay so as you can see here all right folks so now that we've tightened it using our torque wrench go ahead and get yourself some 10 mil uh, black tape. This is one of the tapes that is approved underground. The reason why you want to get a tape that's approved for the soil is because uh, most of your tapes is going to get compromised by the soil eating away. So this is a very strong 10 mil tape. What we're going to do is we're going to wrap the actual coupling and the pipe together alleviating any future root infestation. Come on over here we'll show you what that looks like. So typically what we do is get yourself a, a section of tape. We're going to go ahead and wrap our first joint all the way around. You want to do this a couple of times. three or four times you can 
see now how these future roots right here will no longer go down and find its way to find any moisture because you've completely sealed this off with this 10 mil tape. So once you've complete that, the next step is you want to take your soil and compact it underneath this rubber joint because again, it has a little bit of flexibility. So once you compress and compact the soil, if you don't have that support underneath, what tends to happen is you'll get a little bit of a belly. So to prevent that belly, make sure you put your soil underneath, compact that. Now you're ready to go ahead and put the soil back in. All right, folks, so now we've got the dirt supporting underneath the coupling. We've got our joint sealed up. Now we're ready to go ahead and backfill this. And what we typically do is go ahead and put about eight to nine inches of soil in first, do a compaction. this you can add a little bit of water but depends on the depth of the hole if you're more than five feet deep it's uh, good to go ahead and apply a little bit of water to get a better compaction but in this case we're only a couple of feet deep so we're okay with just using our feet to compact the soil here now some of you are probably wondering, how much does a sewer cleanout typically cost? Well, that depends, but typically uh, a sewer cleanout in the front can range anywhere from $450 all the way up to $2,500, depending on if you've got concrete or uh, the location, the accessibility. But that's a, a good number to budget with. All right, well. We'll go ahead and show you the finished product once we're done. Well, clean outs installed, backfilled, and cleaned up. Hopefully, this helped give you some insight on your main sewer clean out installation. As always, thanks for watching.